Hey you guys, I'm Molly with Design Most Detail and today I'm gonna to be sharing some of my best pillow styling tips with you. I've gotten a ton of requests for this because a lot of people know how to pick a cute pillow but not how to pair them together. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell while you're here and let's dive into some pillow tips. Hey you guys, let's talk about pillows today. A lot of you have had questions on how to pair them together and I cannot wait to show you a few of my favorite tips. First of all, I like to think of pillows in three terms, we'll say. Um, solids, patterns, and textures. And I like to pair um, each of those into groupings. On this side, we have this texture that is awesome. Um, it's a, would otherwise be kind of a plain, simple color um, in this cream tone, but since it has this really fun um, yarn detail like woven through, it gives that texture that makes it um, a really fun option for pillows. And then here's my solid. Um, this color is so pretty and it is kind of a velvet and so that gives it a little more of a luxurious feel instead of just kind of being boring and flat like some solids might be. With my solid pillows, I like to kind of use a fabric that has a little bit more interest um, like that so that there's some, you know, this kind of reflects light a little bit different and then it doesn't feel boring. This front one has the pattern with um, kind of a subtle stripe and also the little end tassels make that unique too, it gives a little texture in addition to the pattern. On the other side, I have another solid. This one again is a fabric that has interest because it's kind of woven and there's a slight variation in the color even though it overall reads as a solid. Um, it's a really pretty, exciting solid too. And behind that we have the plaid. I love plaid. Um, I think stripes and plaid are something that I almost always work into my pillow arrangements because they are timeless and classic and they go with so many different things. So in terms of a color scheme, you can see that I kind of kept it about the same. Um, I usually go with three different color tones. Um, even if you want something really neutral, you can still kind of vary it subtly uh, in usually two to three different tones. So I have the cream, I have the grays with kind of a blue undertone. And then of course I saved this pop of the fun soft mossy green color to kind of make this um, have a little more excitement to it. You'll see that I did kind of this longer one. This is a lumbar size is what that's called. And then these are a little bit more standard square sizes. And I did an oversized, that back one is like a Euro size pillow, which is also common. Um, but it, those bigger ones, it's nice to bring that in because it kind of balances out that we have three on this side. I typically do odd numbers of pillows. So you'll see there's five total um, with the two over there and the three here to make each side unique and different, but they do still overall have a balanced feel, which I love. Here's one more example to show you guys about my little pillow recipe and how you can implement it on your sofa. We have the pattern, the solid, and the texture again. These three together each have their own unique detail and they just pair so well together. You can see that I kind of flip-flopped what we did here um, from the last design where we have three on this side and two over here this time. And I pull the colors, of course, from either side. So we have the cream, the cream, and the blue and the blue. And I even brought in a throw, which is kind of similar to the tone of that solid pillow over there. That's another way that you can kind of tie colors in together when you are um, styling your sofa. Hopefully those pillow tips will help you guys as you're styling your own sofas at home. That kind of makes it a little bit more simplified for you. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of when our next videos are live. 